Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here. When we last left off, I had got the remain uh, the other party members, Isaac, Fox, and Nemet, and Kiba. So we've got our full team of eight now. And oh I had to do some shuffling around of Jins, and I'm just doing a little bit of party shuffling as well for the moment. Because with Isaac as a samurai, he's a buffs character, Rifty's a buffs character, and this team needed a healer because... Well, I actually originally started this episode earlier, but the uh, I had a brief crash, so there's a Jin right here, whom allows me to further manipulate Kess's class to what I want her to be, that being a warlock. So this allows her to become a bard, if I give it to her properly. And a trade for that. Gel is fine. That makes her a bard, so she gets very powerful synergy. She gets massively more powerful. And gel can be given to... Uh, I guess Nemec can hold on to it for now. Just give him a couple of small boosts. But yes, Garrett, or Foxen, is currently a healer. He is a Templar, which is... <sighs> I need to really change which L's. Which is pretty awesome. He's got Ply, Wish, the whole deal. And he's also fairly strong. He's very tanky. Uh, I need to actually fix his cursed stuff though, so I'm putting him in the backup party. Uh, Cajun is still a Punchinello, which gives him some pretty good offensive abilities. More synergy based, but not complaining. And Nemet as a Necrolite is also a very powerful synergy user. So, there's no buffs on this side, but because everyone's using synergy instead of uh, physical attacking, this is where I want them to be. On the other end, we have Isaac and Maddie, who are both very powerful, but Isaac and Rifty are both our impact buffers. So our, we have two of our major attackers in the same party who basically just buff themselves. And then I put Kiba in this party as the designated healer, with Rifty in there as a, um, a what do you call it? Also a buffs character. I'm kind of contemplating putting Garrett as the heal or uh, Foxen as the healer instead, just because he's also kind of a strong offensive force, which would leave Cajun as the major offensive force for uh, the other party and their three strong synergy users. But I haven't decided yet if I want to fully split my things between both fires and earths being on one side and both waters and winds being on the other side. So there's still some decision making to do. I was going to upgrade everyone's equipment and whatnot, but this is actually locked. It will not let me in, so I cannot swap people's equipment up, and I do not recall if this town even has a uh, ugh, a place that I can uncurse Foxen, because the gear that he has, which is still very good gear, but we've gotten better weapons at least, and I need to check if we've sold better armors in the past. Uh, that being said, I'm just going to quickly check this area out. I didn't get the opportunity. Because it looks like the other wing's done, which means, I imagine... Hmm, that still doesn't make sense, so... I guess we'll have to come back here later, but... <clears throat> I imagine we are going to get a new mode of transportation. It seems to be the case. We got a couple of different things we're going to want to do. We got lift now, so there's old treasures. Basically, we're going to be going on a huge treasure hunt. Treasure hunt's normally the thing that I do in, like, Zelda. Uh, Alright, so that's Contigo. Finished Jupiter Lighthouse. Uh, we've got this air, or we can go to the last rock, the Mars rock, to get whatever synergy it's going to give Rifty. There's so much to do, and so little time to really do it. So let's check the offensive power here. We've got Crucible Fire, which completely destroyed them. I might need to uh, swap the order a little bit just because of my normal patterns of doing things. Uh, move Isaac to that spot. And then if this party is supposed to be that one, then something like that seems okay. Just in terms of the patterns I normally do for things. Put Isaac in front. Ah, it won't give me Isaac's sprite. Yeah, well. Isaac's technically the leader, or at least in my opinion, as I'm the one playing. Who are you? When people work together, even a little spiritual power can work great wonders. We sent everyone back to the village so that their hopes would not impair your fight. 
Okay. Ooh, lift rock. Alright, so who's our lifter? You are our lifter. And E. Kess is our cyclone person. Hello! I don't really need Venus Gin for, like, anything, because all the classes I want don't really use them, but hey, I will take a Venus Gin. Boop! Alright, we got Geode. Who are we gonna give Geode to? I think I gotta give it to you. Conjurer? Ah, crap. What's that gonna do? Haunt. Cure. Oh, it's not bad. You still have all the cures and revive, so... I'm not going to complain at that. We'll get you another... I think you need another Jupiter. You need a Jupiter. You need a Jupiter and a... Mars, I think. You need a Mars. Mars and Jupiter are basically the ones I'm using most. Um, Actually, do you need five Mercury or five Venus? Because since I just got a Venus, maybe I can... Well, no, wait, sorry, I, I can't do that. I need to get at least two more Jin before I can start giving people nine. Sorry, three more Jin before I can start giving people nine. Damn it! Well, that is gone. What has happened here? Yeah, who put wings on my ship? Also, do I have two black orbs? Uh, I've been meaning to check that, because Isaac's got one. Cajun had one? I could have sworn. Huh. Weird. I've been waiting for you, Matty. Take a look at your ship. Now that you have been given wings, all obstacles in your path will vanish forever. However, it is not the wings alone that grant your ship the power of flight. Synergy is the force that powers the wings of Animos. If the ship is to fly, you will need to focus the power of your minds. You have visited Shaman Village recently, have you not? Now is the time to make use of the powers you acquired there. Now, use the power of Hover to raise your ship. At first, you may not want to move your ship too high or too far. It will be difficult at first, but that is to be expected. After all, this is your first flight. But your quest should not demand much more of you. Now be confident and set sail. All of Contigo is watching. Show them your power and make your vessel fly. Hey, wait. Master Hammett requested that I deliver this to Isaac, and I totally forgot about it. Well, you'd better hurry. I'm supposed to deliver this to Isaac. It's not too late, is it? On my way here, I stopped in Kale Brie Ifli to speak with Master Hammett. He was quite upset that you hadn't returned to visit him so that he could thank you. So he requested that I take this with me to Attica. It is a gift of thanks from Master Hammett. Take it, please. Ori Calcum. Use your sanitary to ship and fly over the reefs. Okay, so cool. We can now fly over reefs. That being the case, let's go forge some stuff. Oh, cool. I got coins. How do I... So do I just hover short distances, or do I go full flight? I am really confused for how to use this. Hover. I am confused. Okay, so we hit this. Okay.
I am... How do I use this? This isn't working yet. I can't get over the thing. Okay. I will learn this. Give me some... Give me a second. I gotta, like, hold A. Dude, the ship took off without a hitch. But shouldn't it be flying higher than this? Hammer told us that we wouldn't be able to fly very high until we were more familiar with hover. Let's see how far we can take this thing. Kes, what's wrong? You don't look happy. Do you remember on Itajima when I told you I had my own reasons for joining your quest? You were so secretive. Are you going to tell us now? You've gone quiet again. It's okay. You don't have to tell us if you're not ready yet. I thought that if I went to Jupiter Lighthouse, I would learn who I was. I remember the people of Elevera talking about how Kes fell from the sky. All my life, I've been looking for the answer. Where was I born? Why was I abandoned? You knew Maddie was going to Jupiter Lighthouse eventually, and so you went along with him. But you didn't find any answers, did you, Kes? I'm sorry, Kes. I was so excited to find Contigo that I didn't consider your feelings. What? Why is everyone so down all of a sudden? Fan raised Kes like his own daughter. He's cared for her ever since he first found her. <clears throat> yes, that's true, but... But you can never be his real daughter, is that it? Foxen, you don't have to be so blunt about it. No, he's right. I'd want to know my real parents, no matter how caring Farron might have been. You think so? If it were me, I doubt it bothered me at all. Kes, you may not know this, but you and I are very similar. What do you mean? Well, it's not exactly the same situation, but... I was born in a poor village. My memories are hazy, but I still remember it. I was only four when Babby took me under his wing. You see, even though I was young, I was quite intelligent. Babby had heard about me. And Babby took you to Tolby to further your education, to raise you as a scholar. I was separated from my parents early in life. I have never known the comforts of a true home. Farron has always been like a father to me. I must have been very lucky. I should say so. Thank you, Creedon. I feel better now. I'm glad I could help. Well, we should be going. Let's hurry on, Maddie. Alright, so I gotta get close. God damn it. I don't wanna get off on there. I wanna synergy. I wanna hover. Alright, then I gotta like hold A to hover. And then I have like a limited time. Okay. Alright, hovering now makes sense, that being the case. I want to go to... Yalom. Because that is where... There's so much to do. Shaman Village and the various things in that cave. Ugh. Alright, I need to pick a starting point. And I'm going to pick... <sighs> Alright, I'm going to pick Yalom first. So I'm going to, damn it, get annoyed at things. I am going to plot a course for Yalom. It's going to take me a little while to get there, and I will come back once I have arrived. Or after I've, uh, I've gotten the equipment I want from there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the equipment thing. All right, and we're back. That took me a little bit. Anyway, so our guys are kitted out with a little bit of different equipment. It's not the best equipment by far, but it's pretty damn good for what they've got. I basically checked all the old magic equipment we'd had, and yeah, pretty much this is the ideal kit we have for now. Uh, Foxen is cursed with three cursed items still, but he basically has the best armor and second best shield in the game in terms of defense, so he's going to remain our cursed guy. Because reasons. He's also the one with the anti-curse ring right now. That being said, we are currently in Yalom, so let's do some Yalom stuff. Like, move that, which I have no idea what that accomplished. Ah, okay, now I can jump over here. Which means I'm assuming I can cyclone here. We're still treasure hunting. That is the goal of the day. Jins and treasure. 
in any places that I can remember them. Massa Moon. At least in Rising Dragon details. Attack 161. Alright, it's so a give. Ooh. She can use it. Uh, I think Cajun's got the lowest attack right now because I gave um, Mayori Kalkum made an awesome weapon for Nemet. See, so yeah, I think 383 is the lowest. Which means I can give the Phaeton Blade, which I know is better than other stuff. 430. Yeah, I think I'm giving it to Rifty. And then Rifty's equipment is definitely better than somebody else's Kiba's. And then I think the Draco Mace sucks, and I can get rid of it. Yes, Draco Mace sucks, and I can get rid of it. Cool. I'm down for new pieces of equipment. This is good. All right, that being said, we have a large amount of world to explore now, and I can't remember all of the places where I have needed things in the past. Sell this Draco Mace while I'm here. Ugh. Sell uh, the Draco Mace. Cool. But yes, the endgame equipment for Golden Sun 1 turned out to be a lot less useful than I thought. I mean, you know, the demon armor is a, a great acquisition in that it is basically the best armor. But most of the other stuff is just very much lacking. I don't think the swamp had anything. I don't think that had anything. Pretty sure Eris Rock, Yampi Desert, Alifra. Pretty sure none of these places had anything interesting. Uh, Sea of Time, Gaia Rock, Izumo. Well, it's very hard to say. Hmm. Well, uh, I know there's the rock lifting cover or a thing near Shaman Village, so. Oh, cool, I can just hold B. Oh, that's awesome. And it's definitely faster. Sweet, I'm gonna just take advantage of this. Super speed. Okay, so I have to actually touch down for a decent amount of time. Or is that, like, draining people's synergy? One, one, we'll wait for it to go down, and we'll see if it's actually draining synergy. Ha, sweet, I can go on land. Can I land on land? Yes, I can. Sweet. Can I get out on land? I may. I might be a little close to that beach. Let's get a little further away. Let's land like here. Sweet. I can get out on land anywhere. That is awesome. All right. Let me go quickly check the synergy. Yeah, I think it's draining everyone's synergy when I fly. So that's a thing. That is the trade-off, I suppose. Champa. I need to get... Whoa. Places. Oh, cool. Coins. Let's cast a quick avoid. Just because I don't want to run into sea battles here. They're useless. Hmm. I'm trying to think of other places wherein I've needed s different things. Oh, shit. Wrong area. Huh. Basically, I have unlimited power when it comes to getting around now. Uh, Alright. I think it's going to take me a while to sail the Shaman Village. Just wanted to talk about the exploration and whatnot. So... That being the case, I think we're going to cut here and come back again. Whew, alright, it took forever to get here, but we are here. I found Isaac. What the hell? We've been looking for you, Isaac. 
Who are you guys? The name's Satraj. You took me out in the last round at Colosso. And I'm Azart. And don't forget, Navampa! Oh, it's you guys. Is that any way to say hello to some old friends? What's your problem? We want to talk to you about your fighting style at Colosso. Yeah, and we think you shouldn't have won, Isaac. We think you didn't fight fair. Sounds like you resent the fact that Isaac beat you. We've just been thinking about it. Okay, there's no way that Isaac should have won. Right, so you think I cheated just because I used my synergy abilities in Colosso? I don't know how you did it. I'm just saying I think you cheated is all. Ah, but synergy is a warrior skill. Every bit as much, much as your sword arts. It isn't cheating. You're not listening, are you, old man? That fight was fixed, and we're here to pay you back. Okay, so apparently now we're fighting the Colosso guys. Because... reasons? Um, alright. Buff everybody. And, uh, buff everybody. And hit him up with a... I'm feeling Froth Sphere today. Uh, or Blue Ball, too. Blue Ball looks good. It's only a three target. And Death Leap, I'm going to start with the guy on the right. Woo! Bam! Hey, look. It's basically exactly how it used to be. Or how it was last time. Just with more buffs. And this time, Maddie's the ninja. Okay, so long as he's stunned, I might as well have uh, people doing other things. Dragon Cloud. It looks like it'll probably... You know, just do a regular attack. New. Hit him up with a... Uh, uh, I'm feeling maybe Chimera? Nah. Come with Flash Hurt Multiples? Nope. Ugh. You know, let's hit him with a Chimera. Chimera looks good. And you can... Oh, shit. You don't have uh, Wish right now as your current class. Shit. Well, if that is the case, then I am going to go back, because I learned the switch mechanic. That'll swap you with whoever I want. Let's get Foxen in there, because he's our other healer. And then we will... What is it going to do? Regular attack. Chimera. Just a small wish. Don't really need it too much. And Death Leap the other guy, because if we can get another stun, that would be sweet. Maddie, luckiest son of a bitch ever. Alright, Chimera sucks. Alright. Just hit him. Alright, we need a new ability then. Griffin? Sure, just keep going him. You don't really need it, so you know what? You can also play the attack. Actually, what, what was that? Plume Edge? Attack with a foaming geyser. And definitely the third one. Maybe we can get three stuns. Can we get three stuns? No. Aw, oh, damn it. I killed that guy. Alright then. Cool. This is not a very hard fight. Uh, Griffin. Plume Edge. Death Leap, the last one, because again, we're hoping for that stun. Or he'll just die. Man, this was... Why was this even a fight? Rifty got a level. That's cool, I guess. These guys were phenomenal. Which one... None of you didn't think they won Colossal Fit, Aaron Square? It wasn't me. I think both you and Navampa were saying something like that. So you don't still think our victory at Colossal was fixed, do you? No, I, Isaac. We've seen the error of our ways. We promise we won't badmouth you or call you a fraud ever again. Will you forgive us? Yes, I will forgive you. You're not such a bad kid after all. You came here looking for treasure, didn't you? Here, this is what the ch this was in the chest we found. You were a nice enough to forgive, so we think we should have it. Is it just water of life? Right, well, I guess we'll be leaving now. When it's, by the time the next Colossal rolls around, we ought to be strong enough to win for sure. Maybe we'll see you there. 
You guys seem uh, seem pretty chill. Is this just water of life? Is it a shirt? It looks like a shirt. Golden shirt. Huh. What's this do? Raises HP and defense. What's the details on it? Plus 12 and 10 max HP. Nice. Who is... 253. Damn. 231's really low, though. And yeah, those silk shirts are terrible, but they can only be worn by women, and I only got so many shirts. Alright. Nimit. Time to lift. Do you even lift, bro? Oh yeah, there's like a, a carry thing, isn't there? Alright. And Kiba can frost... I have so many synergies. And... Maddie can Gale. I think I was supposed to do this one last. Just feels that way. Alright. Let's try this thing. Lift. I will get this Mercury Gen, even though they're not super high on my to-get list. Hmm. If I get around here... Dang it. Okay. Damn it. I didn't expect there to be guys around here, because this is technically a Synergy puzzle. Alright then. Down we go. Hmm. All right, we gotta lift this rock, cause we gotta get at this from a different angle. Hop. All right, all of the rocks are lifted. What this accomplishes, I don't know. Do they, like, form a bridge or something? I guess we'll find out. Let's try down here first. No, I still can't get through there, so... There's gotta be another way, isn't there? Okay, so we needed the frost to get across. Ooh. Oh, son of a... Okay, so the rocks block my way from jumping. Okay, I all right, I, I get it now, I get it now. So we can't lift too many rocks. We need to lift this one. I know that much. Lift. And that'll let us get in here. The frost is already active, so that's fine. So then just jump across here. Damn it! Get out of my face. Woo! I can always swap people up, but this party's doing fine for now. At least until I get some more Jin. Yoo ho! Hmm. Can I just halt you? All right, I see what needs to be done here. Whoop. Now from here, I need to get... Shit, how do I get down here? All right, go across here, back up, and from here, go... I need to... All right. I need to get back out. Uh, this Jin's a dick, and he's gonna fight me afterwards, and he's gonna run away, and then I'm gonna be pissed. So I need to lift this rock. And to go around, and lift this one in the way. So that should block his escape. Then I go back around.
and up and around come on you then across then I can jump here and he's all like oh shit no there's rocks in the way and I'm all like ha cool all right let's go mercury gen you've got nothing angel spear Hit him with a no wait sorry got a high impact Go with a plume edge and a death leap. Ha ha ha! Stunned! Can't run away now, bitch! Woo! Yeah, plume edge definitely seems to be a physical attack, so it beefs off of my attack. That being said, regular attack, griffin, more plume edge, more death leap. BAM! Felled him. That didn't take much effort at all. Mm, yum, 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 yum. We got Eddie. It's a lame name for a Jin, but okay. And who can we give Eddie to? Um, everyone's got way too many Mercury Jins right now. Uh, give it to you, I guess. Just because I can undo them and it doesn't affect your class at all. Alright then. Da, 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 da. Yes, I need more Mars, more... Well, anyway. Yes, that is it. And that is probably going to be it for this episode because... Uh, there's so many more treasures to do and I didn't expect that little Colosso mini fight. So, until next time, this will be Isaac Zephyr signing out. And I will see you all later, heroes.